Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. I've always thought white people researching their history was just another way for them to feel good about themselves. <laughs> and I don't know how many of you watched Finding Your Roots. It was a PBS series on looking at movie stars' roots. Now, I one, watched one episode and we found out that <coughs> Brooke Shields came from French aristocracy. Well, of course she did. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had little interest in my genealogy. As most of you know, I'm Australian. And if you know how Australia was founded, <laughs> it was a penal colony. <laughs> so, most of our ancestors were sent in chains <laughs> from the United Kingdom for committing petty crimes, sometimes political crimes, and shoved off to Australia where they would do their time and start a new life. So I was pretty convinced that my genealogy would not make me feel fab about myself. <laughs> Therefore, I let it slide. Now, I have a cousin in Australia about my age finding herself an empty nester, Jacinta decided, I'm going to look into our ancestors. <laughs> and I remember saying to her, are you sure? <laughs> I don't think this is going to end well. <laughs> you could end up in tears. But Jacinta looked into, a, into the Skype at me and said, she'll be right. And so off she goes. Now, she joined all the right, at, you know, groups that you join, and she tramped around churches, and she found out that our great, great, great grandfather James and his very pretty new bride actually were born in Liverpool and paid for assisted passage to Australia. Oh. Clearly, I was disappointed. <laughs> no convicts. <laughs> <laughs> However, good start for the Australian team. Now, at the same time, around the same time, PBS were doing a story on Ben Affleck. Now, Ben Affleck at the time was a megastar. He was going to be Batman <laughs> for Sony. And his story started off pretty damn well, too. He had an uncle that was a soldier in the Revolutionary War. His mother was a freedom fighter in the 60s. And there was even an occultist in there somewhere, which would make interesting viewing. Now, history has a way, though, of not always following the same smooth path. Back to Team Australia. And we find out that uncle, no, great, great, great grandfather James was very, very handsome and he considered himself an entrepreneur. And he would take long jaunts, jaunts away from home where he would get a woman pregnant in every town he went to. <laughs> but back in the States, things were looking even worse for Megastar. Megastar found out that his roots had been slave owners. Now, this is not exactly what Megastar was looking for. <laughs> Therefore, Jacinta is back in Australia persisting, trying to overcome and find out more about our great-great-grandfather. But Megastar chose to persist in a slightly different way. He decided to rewrite history. Why not? He's a Megastar. <laughs> so, Megastar contacts the head of Sony, who's putting up billions of dollars for this motion picture, who contacts the head of PBS and says, not so keen about the uh, slave owners. What can we do about this? Now, if you're wondering how I know all the details, in 2014, Sony was hacked by Russia, if you remember. <laughs> Thank you, Russia. <laughs> and there were emails going back and forth that were released, and being a true historian, 
I was full over. <laughs> now, our very esteemed Professor Gates, who was in charge of Finding Your Roots and who had an impeccable record, had sent an email saying, to do this would be a violation of PBS rules, even for Batman. The <laughs> following email from Sony followed. Well, we're talking about a megastar here. No one will find out what's the problem. Oh. Oh, there might be a problem here. Meanwhile, lovely cousin was still researching. Now it turns out great, great, great grandfather James entrepreneurial efforts. <laughs> First was embezzling, which landed in a very big prison in Australia for six months. After that he tried being a horse thief. <laughs> Didn't do so well at that. Tried a few aliases. Didn't seem to do well at that either. Back in prison and I believe that his lovely wife Matilda called the police at least two or three of those times to get him put back in. Back home in the US, PBS did cave under the pressure. And they left out Megastar's roots of being a slave owner. But unfortunately, when the Sony hacks came out, and I was sitting home reading them page by page, <laughs> PBS were forced to cancel Finding Your Roots for a year. Sony went on to make a lot of money with Batman. Now, if I had one thing to say to my great, great, great grandfather James, I would have said this. Listen here, Jim. I could call you Jim. I hope we're related. <laughs> if you are going to be a horse thief, an embezzler, and a philanderer, stay in Liverpool Learn your skills. <laughs> Learn your skills. If you make a mistake, you'll get caught and get deported to Australia for free. <laughs> there is one thing we all know. We cannot hide our histories, no matter how we persevere. Madam Toastmaster. Yeah.